In this video, we will see how to generate raster of soil texture classes. For that, we need to have rasters on clay content, silt content, and sand content. So, first, we will download these rasters for our area of interest, and then we will be generating the soil texture class raster in Saga JS. First, we have to search for soil grid, soil grids 250 meter. FAO or you can type soil grids FAO then you will get this first soil grids dot org so it will be opening like this then here you will find a download button so click here now you can select the layer first so here you will find clay content and depth so basically it is providing digital soil maps of entire globe at 6 standard depths. One is from 0 to 5 cm, then 5 to 15, then 15 to 30, 30 to 60, 60 to 100 and 100 to 200 centimeters. So first we will select 0 to 5 cm and then it will, it also provide the uncertainty but we are interested in this mean and you have to give minimum 2 degree by 2 degree of longitude and latitude to download your data. So, suppose I am giving 77 to 79 of longitude and 22 to 24 of latitude and click here to download. So, it will be downloaded in your folder. So, name it first, like I am naming it clay and since it is first layer so clay 1 so at least we need up to 0 to 30 centimeters so we will be downloading all the three layers here so 0, uh, 0 to 5 we have already downloaded 5 to 15 centimeter we will be downloading and we will be keeping these extents the same and click ok uh, click the download button we will again change the name as two and then the third one it has been downloaded now so we will change the name again to clay 3 so similarly we will be downloading the sand content and then the silt content all the three layers we will be downloading for sand silt and clay once you have we have downloaded all these nine data sets means three for clay three for sand and three for silt so first we have to merge it in one data for clay one for sand and one for silt to get a 0 to 30 centimeter average so for that first we have to use the calculator of Saga. Actually, we need to have all these data set first. So, directly you can drag here and then geoprocessing, grid, calculus, and grid calculator. Now, we have to select the grid system first, this one, and then grid objects. So, first we will be doing for clay. So, clay 1, clay 2 and clay 3 we will be taking, click OK and now you have to, results will be created and then you have to now give the formula. So, formula will be like G1 means grid 1 into 5, since it is a 5 centimeter depth, then plus G2 into 10 centimeter since the sec second one is from 5 to 15 so 10 centimeter and then plus g3 into 15 since the last the third one is 15 to 30 centimeter and then divided by 30 so it will be averaging it it will be like a weighted average but since if you are looking to the this unit of this clay content it is gram per kg so we have to divide it again by 10 
to get a percent okay and then click ok so this is the calculation this is the clay container now for 0 to 30 centimeter we can change the name of this yes clay apply so now again we will be using the same tool so this tool will be available here at the bottom so grid calculator and formula is already written thus just you have to select the change the layer so now for sand sand 1 sand 2 sand 3 will be taking and clicking ok and then result will be you have to select create and just the formula will be same again and then click ok so now this is your sand content so we will be changing the name also again sand and then apply so now this is clay this is sand now we will go for the silt so again go for the same tool here you have to change the layers so now we will taking silt 1 silt 2 silt 3 click ok and here create the result you have to create every time and then formula will be same and then click ok so this is the silt content now so we will change the name again to silt and click apply now we will go for generating a soil texture class so before that you can see the legends so this is for silt this is for sand and this is for clay now go to geo processing grid analysis soil analysis now we will be taking soil texture classification in the earlier video we have done done it for tabular data now we are doing for raster data so we will take this tool and grid system we will be giving the same then for sand we will be giving sand for silt we will be giving silt and for clay we will be giving clay soil texture it will be creating now the classification system will be using the USDA now click OK so this is our soil texture now can minimize it so this is the soil texture texture class raster of your area and these are the legend of that so you can see you can add the north arrow here and then see the print layout so this is the soil texture map of your area now we can save it as a tiff file right click here and then save as so you can save it as the native format of saga or in tiff also thank you for watching